Up in Ulaga, our Rick Wells found a fine collection of vintage riding mowers and garden tractors. Well, no doubt it is an unusual hobby. But as Rick shows us, it's really more than just a hobby. It's a commitment to saving American made. <laughs> Mike Pepin has a yard full of 40 year old Missouri, garden and tractors and riding mowers. These 1970s were the last of the last. After that, lighter weight, not as versatile, built overseas. But these? And these were built by American men and women that, that these were the, the finest products in the world. And worth saving. He once had maybe 50, but realized at some point he couldn't personally save them all, so he's traded with other collectors, whittled his collection. To about 15. You still have the first one? Yes. I told the lady I'd never sell it. Her dad bought this new in 1974. It's a Massey Ferguson. It's on the end here. Well, does it run? Well, of course it runs, he said. And off he went. All these tractors still run. He plows with them. He pushes snow when we have it. This isn't just a parking lot for old tractors. And there is often a story within a story, and this one has one of those, too. Mike Pepin is a 56-year-old full-time college student at Rogers in State. In 18 months, I'll be a junior next year. And He's a psychology major. He carries a 3.75 grade average. He's a veteran and wants to someday counsel veterans. In life, you only have one chance to do something. Get off your rear and do it. And he's on his way. In the meantime, he'll continue to rehab and restore these old garden tracks. These aren't mine. That these I'm taking care of them until they can go on. And with his help, these American-made machines will last longer than we do. Rick Wells, News on Six. And with spring crumbing, and Betty's got the nicest looking <laughs> yard in the neighborhood. No kidding. Put them all into action. A fleet. <laughs> right. He's never out of grass mowing.